make a polystyrene cup like this, you take a piece of polystyrene um, and you warm it up until it becomes flexible because at room temperature it's, it's brittle. Um, and at that temperature you can form it into whatever shape you want so there'll be a mould that pushes it into this cup shape. You leave the mould in and you cool it down and then it becomes rigid again like this so you can remove the mould and it will stay in this shape. That process of pushing it into the shape that you want stretches out the molecules. So these are really long chain molecules inside and they become stretched out uh, in the same way that you would stretch a rubber band. So if I can heat this up again, it will become mobile again and it would act like an elastic band. So it would pull back into its original shape. So by heating this up, we can see what it would look like before it was a cup. And that's the great thing about plastics, you can recycle them. So once you're finished with polystyrene being in a cup shape, you just throw it into the recycling and it can be made into some other useful shape just by heating it up and pushing it into whatever sort of form uh, you, you need it to be. By the way, if you think of a polystyrene cup, this might be the kind of cup that comes to mind, this foam cup. But this is also polystyrene. The only difference between these two cups is that this one has air bubbles inside it. And, I mean, that's really clever because you can make it thick and at the same time not use too much of the plastic. And of course, it being thick and mostly made of air, it's a good insulator as well. So it's good for hot drinks. It's also good for keeping cold drinks cold as well.